What is up guys? Today we are headed to my good friend Ed's and we are going to raid his storage unit. Now I'm going to bring back a classic with me. So stay tuned and see what it is that I add to the collection on this hot ass July day. Me and my beautiful wife are taking a ride up there. And stay tuned. Tell me, tell us what what you got here. Yeah, welcome everybody to the upcoming game room project. Uh, as you can see here, we had a 12 by 40 foot Amish built shed placed in for the purpose of ultimately a game room. It's also going to turn into a workshop as well. So uh, come on inside. And let me show you what we got here. It's pretty. Nice flower boxes. Everybody knows the wife always likes to have a flower box outside a window. I think flower boxes I see extra work. We have a little nice cupola that's lit up at night. Over some buggy weather vane. Joe likes that kind of stuff, so uh, come on in. Now mind you, it's a bit right now storage. Uh, we're kind of in place doing a couple of projects. Everything's kind of hand in hand. But uh, what you see here is a compilation of stuff that's going in all areas and like the bathroom we've done and everything. So from this point, from the garage door to about this point here, about 12 feet in, this is going to be a workshop where all the games get checked out and kind of, you know, kind of hang out. And then you'll have like a double wide door here? Have a, yeah, I'll have a third, it'll be walled off here yeah. and it'll be a 36 inch wide door here. Okay. Anything I have will fit through a 36 inch wide door. Except the Konami cam. We don't like that stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so we... So we have to, <laughs> a third, hey, if my phone booth will fit through that door, I'm happy. That's all that matters. <laughs> So we got 12 foot here, this is gonna be the workshop, like power distribution will be in here. The shed's gonna have its own 200 amp service. There'll be cable and internet coming out of here as well. Mm -hmm. From this point on, which is about 12 feet wide and 28 feet long, will be the arcade. Um, and, and how many machines do you think you're gonna be able to get? Right now I'm thinking about 14 to 18 arcades, a half dozen pinball machines, uh, the shuffle ballers coming in, Baseball machine will be in, and the Mega Touch machine will be here. Very nice. I mean, it'll be tight, but and I'm going to keep maybe a handful of machines in the workshop or in storage in the house just to switch up. I, I have entirely too much right now, and I know I am going to be liquidating. So these are going to a buddies of ours. Those are going. Yes, those are going to a good friend of ours who's uh, been there for us, and we're going to help him out because he kind of likes this. Here's a recent pickup he's got. This thing is already fully working. It just needs a new rubber kit and some cleaning. Good cleaning. Maybe the uh, Sabo touch on around the, the head since it's white. The art, the side art's in really good shape. Just the head's kind of beat up, but a good cleaning. Hey, right 200 now. bucks is 200 how many, bucks. How many pins do you have right now? I think I am up to 12 pins right now. All right. I had eight, figured I had to liquidate, got down to two. Now he's and got now this, back up to 12. He's got this Miss Pac-Man. This is all original. Look how good this thing is. You don't see a Miss Pac-Man in this condition very often. I mean, usually all the pink is completely faded like this, the whole thing. I know I've worked on enough of them. For this thing to be original, it's it's an excellent, excellent shape. 
You know, it, it had a really good cleaning. We're going to do a new marquee for them, but other than that, man. Yeah, a little, maybe a little bit of the foam touch-up black here, but this yeah. thing is, is very clean. That's real nice. Very, very clean. Now, over here, I'll show you over here. Is, all right, well, you see, this is a machine here that a good friend of uh, Joe's and mine, Scott, hooked us up with. This machine came from a shop. Oh, why? I can't remember the name of the shop. Oh, Love Saves the Day. Any of you from that grew up in the 80s knows the movie... Desperately Seeking Susan. This arcade, this actual machine was in that movie. This actual machine? This actual machine was in that movie. And in good shape. They had a uh, store up in New Hope as well as New York City. New York City store closed down about seven years ago. And when they did, they brought everything down to the Philly area. One by one, as our arcades died, they just got rid of them. Phoenix is the last one they had, and it died. Now, Scott and I recapped the monitor. It's still got a little flagging issue, but that's easy enough to fix. Um, they said if we came up and got it, we could have it. So sure enough, got it, new cap kit, cleaned it up, and, and off it is. That, that's it. It works pretty well. Very nice. That's a fun game. It's kind of like another version of Galaxian or one of those types yeah, of games. It works things. really well. It works yeah, really well. It's a great game. So probably about another three to show show the floor you're gonna have. Oh okay, yeah. So so anyway, another good friend of mine who's building a moldy cave for does flooring traded me a moldy cave for this final snap lock hardwood flooring for the arcade. That's nice. Yeah, this stuff is gonna be the whole it's floor. gonna be the whole floor. Now it's, it's gonna go up to that wall and then it's the gonna go up to the wall. Yeah, and the then workspace, workspace will just be this wood. No, here. workspace will be carpeted. Oh, okay. It's two by two car industrial carpet squares. Nice. Figure it easier to vacuum and keep clean and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, there'll be a stereo wired up in here as well as on the outside and in the shop. You know, have cable, internet, uh, cable television in, in a workshop as well as a, as a television in here in the game room. All right. Nice. So uh, we're getting there. Probably, as I said, by the, by the end of the year at the latest, I'm hoping in the next three to four months to be have uh, substantial completion at that point. All right. Well, thanks. Thank you all for coming and uh, stay tuned. Check out this little racing sim he has in his living room for his kid. This is running OutRun 2. Actually has a PC build in it, but it boots right up into the game. The construction of this thing is all metal and plastic. It's really neat, and it's actually been imported from Japan. He got it from someone else. But this game is a lot of fun. And the graphics on it is really cool. It's just a neat little game to have around. The light, see the seat lights up. It's really yeah. Okay, here you go. We're about to go into the storage unit. Get ready. See some awesome oh, there go. Might want to put it in gear first. <laughs> that here usually we go. helps. Going down on the left. Are we back in Candy Land again? I think we are. We're in Candy Land. <laughs> there it is, right there. But pull over on this side. All right. Candy There's Land. Candy Land. There's Candy Land. There, Joe. Say hi. You're at Candy Land. All right, SWAT team. Ready? Get set. Move in. Phone booth. We got a multi cocktail. Got a cool jukebox. My old Mega Touch. This is the Minty Fresh Spy Space Invader. This thing is really clean. Got some bowl in here. This is his ultimate holy grail right here. Sit down, spy hunter. Whole position two cocktail right there. 
excellent shape. Big Doug asteroids. You see a Star Wars, a Star Trek back there, a Tron. We gotta get some, uh, we gotta move some stuff out of the way here. There's, there's a crappy Dig Dug over there. Yeah, there's a really piece of crap Dig Dug that somebody restored. Yeah, I believe it came from Sabo Sawing. That guy doesn't know shit about there what he does. Here's a better look at the sit down spy hunter. I mean, this thing is nice. Look at that. It's all been redone. It's in really, really good shape. You know, I gotta, I gotta get this, I gotta scan this side art sometime. That is something that's not really, it doesn't even exist out there that I need to make. That is a cool cabinet. Now, here we have, we're gonna convert this, not convert it, turn it back into a zookeeper. That's what this originally was. Sure it was originally that? Yeah. So you somebody put laminate somebody on it. Somebody put laminate on it. Somebody the somebody bit. already put laminate on it. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna have to pull that off. And um, we're gonna turn this back into obviously somebody put a, a multi-kit in there. But we're gonna do because I'm actually almost done the artwork for this entire project. I got the control panel, the bezel, the marquee, and the side art, and the front is about 90% done right now. And we're gonna turn this back into zookeeper. What do you got here? What's this? This was a Jamma Mr. Do. Um, okay. Worked fine, got it really inexpensive, but at the same point, I need to make a multi, and it was already a Jamma Mr. Do, so I need to cap it for a uh, multi machine. And that's oh, what it's gonna be. Tron, Tempest, Asteroids over there, Jedi. Yeah, Return of the Jedi back there. This Star is Trek back man. there. Star Master Trek. Block. That's got a multi in it, right? What's that? A multi in Star the... Star Trek, yep. It's got the multi-board. The 5-1 multi. Star Wars has... Uh, play Star Wars and... Asteroids Star Deluxe. Oh, uh, we're gonna get a little deeper into it. Alright, so here we got Tempest. Tron. Return of the Jedi, which I am actually in the middle of redoing mine right now. So we may have to spruce yours up a little bit. Yeah, it needs a little. Tron, he's got, he actually bought all new side art. This Joe is, will have an upcoming video. Uh, this is something I can't do because of the fluorescent inks, unfortunately, so. But Joe will have an upcoming video on how to take someone else's side art and apply it to your machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This thing needs a little bit of help, but well, that CPO got burnt. What the hell? That's a great game, though, man. Stargate. Star Trek, this thing's already been restored. Really good shape. All right, Joe. See, so you got a machine there. What is that you have? Well, guys, what do you think? One hand, Atari. Okay. Some guys may already know from the angle. But one, two, three. Looky, looky, cookie, cookie. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have a minty fresh. Look at the side art on there. That's all original. Looks like the control panel has been replaced. Maybe it is original. I don't know. I don't know the history of the game. Now you said it has a multi in it? Has a multi in it. Monitor has been completely redone, power supply done, multi kit installed. It's in great condition. All of the all of the front, everything is pretty much, I would say, the only thing that I would doubt is original. This looks like it was purchased NOS stuff, but everything else is original on this cat. It's in really, really good shape. It's it's not a game for everybody. I hear they're pretty hard to keep running because of the vector-based, but 
definitely a game that I like, and it is an awesome piece of art. So show a little, uh, let's take a look at this Star Wars over here. That is actually right here. This thing's in really good shape. This is all original as well. Look how nice the side art is. Awesome. This is obviously a game that a lot of people are always in. In great condition. Alright, so what do we got here? We got Jungle Lord, Star Trek, okay? 78 Bowie. Trident, right here. We saw those earlier. What's this one? Oh heck, I forget what that is. I have no idea. Have King Cool. King Cool. Mm -hmm. And what about this? What's this one here? That is Funland, a 68 wedge head. Ooh. And this one? That is Atlanta, 75 Gottlieb. Alright. And kids, we'll be back. And I'm noticing I got one light out on the top. Look at that. Ah, always something. And a reverse light out. Got to attend to that as well. What are you going to do? Shop. Well, I got the game back in the shop now, and thank God I got back in one piece. This will be the second official arcade hall with the new truck. It worked out really well. I still have the enclosed trailer, but I don't always have to drag that behind, which is nice. So this cat, basically, I have to do nothing other than play it. This thing is ready to go. Very, very awesome. So let's see what this thing's got under the hood. Looks like the monitor's been all being recapped. An additional fan in here to keep it cool, which is really nice. Power board has been all redone. Same as the main board. That is a beautiful thing. Man, that monitor looks great. I don't know how well it's coming out for you guys here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video on this absolute amazing classic pickup. I'm going to spend some time here and get used to this game. And thanks everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.